Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin and you are joining me today with tape on my face on graduation day. I'm nervous, I'm really scared. I don't know why I'm so scared, but I'm so nervous. Um, I'm going back to Liverpool today, going back on campus, seeing all my uni mates and graduating with a first class honours degree. Um, what? What? So today I'm gonna do my makeup. I've done most of my hair. I've just kind of pinned the swirly bits back. I'm gonna do my makeup with you today. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get on camera. Hopefully I'll get a lot. We can have a chat. But you know the drill with big occasions like this. The morning is always very, very stressful. I have a look that I'm gonna be doing. I've got my graduation nails on, glittery little ombre nails. I did them myself. I'm very, very proud of myself. But um, yeah, today my heart is pounding and we're getting ready to go. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me, especially on today graduation day, three years of hard work, finally coming to an end, which is insane. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it because I don't really have much time. Right, so as you can probably tell by the tape, we're doing a winged look today. So yeah, let's just kind of jump into it. Um, I'm going in first with a black eyeshadow. A lot of you have kind of been with me through my whole uni journey and a lot of you will know that it's been a very stressful journey for sure especially the past year third year was really really rough for me i had a lot of personal things going on i had um, a relationship breakdown like a week before my final show i had like ptsd issues um for a lot of third year i was on reduced timetable for most of third year as well so the fact i've got a first is kind of baffling it's it's baffling to me and to be honest i've been dealing with quite a lot of guilt it feels almost like survivor's guilt you know when you've been through a traumatic experience and like you've lived and other people haven't and it's like why why have i lived <laughs> but like i know there is a lot of people in my class who have put in a lot more effort than me i'm gonna be completely honest and they haven't got a first and i have and i feel kind of guilty but you know what i've done it i've got to be proud of myself i've got to like you know i've i've done it i've done it it doesn't you know stop how i'm feeling but i've got to be proud of myself you know considering everything that happened like i had a stroke at the end of first year just everything that happened it was a really really rough time for me and the fact that i've got through it with a first class degree was mad. On our last show, it was um, a show called Nine. We finished the show, everyone went out for drinks afterwards and I sat in Lime Street and cried for an hour. <laughs> it was just, it was a really rough time for me. It was not good at all, but I've, I've taken myself away from all of that now and I'm in a lot better space. Uh, I did a whole get ready with me not long ago talking about how amazing my mental health is now that i'm away from like toxic people but yeah it's just weird to think like i've got a first and i just didn't i didn't really do much i was speaking to my best friend autumn on the phone the other day and she's got a first as well which is incredible like i'm i'm so unbelievably proud of her and we were just talking like how have we got firsts how have we both got firsts because it's just been mad it's been absolutely insane we've both had really rough things going on and the fact that we've both got firsts out of everything like absolutely insane okay i'm gonna go in with cypress umber from my pan that palette to blend that wing out uh, i'm gonna do like a smoky winged look today um i've got like a red dress that i'm wearing hence the red nails i'll put like a bunch of pictures at the end of like how I look in my dress and everything because obviously I've not taken those pictures yet because I've not got in it yet. We had a whole, whole ordeal about my dress as well. We went to a bunch of different cities trying to find a dress and nowhere had anything. Literally nowhere had any formal dresses. It was all like summer dresses, like casual summer dresses. 
And obviously that's not what I want for my graduation. We spent about four days on different shopping trips trying to find the right dress for me and my mum as well. And I ended up going on eBay like last minute being like, right, that's it. I'm going on eBay. I'm just going to have a look, see what there is. And I ended up getting the most beautiful dress for £20, including shipping on eBay. So I am so unbelievably excited for that. Like the fact that my cap and gown hire for the day is more expensive than my dress is kind of unbelievable. But I know um, a few other people as well have got like secondhand dresses, which is amazing. Like they've got steals and I actually can't wait to see like what everyone is looking like. I don't know, I feel like it's like the Met Gala, but like with my friends. <laughs> so I've been able to bring three people to my graduation. So obviously my mum's coming. Um, but also my singing tutor that I've had for literal years. She's called Margaret. She is the best person in the world. And also uh, Margaret's husband, Hugh, is also coming. I'm going into burnt orange to blend that out, by the way. So yeah, Margaret and Hugh are coming. Like, Margaret is my little singing mum. Like, she has raised me in singing. She has been my singing teacher since I was in secondary school, I think like year eight or nine. Um, and she, she's just kind of, I don't know, built me up from the ground in my singing little journey. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to invite Margaret to come and see me graduate. She did come to see me in Legally Blonde. Um, I played Vivian in Legally Blonde a year ago, which a year ago. Madness. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, she came to see me in that um, and she's also coming to my graduation. She was like the first person I called when I got my uni results as well. Like she's just amazing. I absolutely love her. Two bits. I actually haven't seen her in a while as well so it would be really nice to catch up with her later today. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have the ceremony. The ceremony is at 12, so it's it's pretty early right now because we're about an hour away from Liverpool as it is. <laughs> ceremony at 12, then we're gonna go get some food or something like that. I know a lot of the, the class is like going out for drinks afterwards. I don't drink. I haven't drank in like three years. I tell a lie. I had one glass at Christmas. <laughs> Crazy, I know. But um, I, I don't drink at all, so I'll probably just end up going home after the meal. I don't like going out anyway. Like, going out gives me so much anxiety. It's it's ridiculous. So I'll just leave them all to it. I feel like I'm the responsible mum who's just like, okay, have fun. Have fun, kids. See you later. <laughs> don't get too drunk. But yeah, it's crazy that it's, like, all over after today. Like, this is, this is it. This is the end of a three-year era, almost. I'm kind of excited to see what tutors are going to be there. I know like a few of them are going to be there for sure, but I don't know, it's going to be like a final goodbye to the tutors as well. We've spent three years with them and um, yeah, it's just going to be wild really to close that chapter. I'm an adult now, I'm like officially an adult. Because it's weird, isn't it? Like the whole thing is like, you go to primary school, then you go to secondary school, then you go to college, and then you go to uni, and then after uni it's like, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, what do you do after uni? Like, work? Be an adult? But like, I don't want to be an adult yet. <laughs> okay, so the shade that I'm going to be putting on my lid, this was actually in a chopping block video not that long ago, but I found a way that I really enjoy using it. This is the She Glam Glow Globe. It's meant to be a highlighter, but it's like pure glitter. It's like pinky, greeny, bluey, kind of iridescent-y glitter. So I put this on my lid and it just gives like a nice sparkle. I definitely won't use this as a highlighter, but I do like it as like an eyeshadow topper. Okay, so I'm gonna take the tape off and hopefully they are kind of even. Okay, there we go. It could be worse. I think one of them is slightly longer than the other one. So, uh, yeah, my skin's actually clearing up quite a lot. I know it's still quite red, but I went to the doctors the other day and they prescribed me this. It's a uh, Zinitrit. Zinitrit? It's like a lotion. It's really, really good. 
it's got like a dabber on the end of it and it's like antibiotic and zinc so um i get really bad hormonal acne as you can see but it's kind of it's nothing that is you know uncoverable today a few days ago it was so bad to the point where it hurt to like speak it was really ridiculous i was really stressing out about my skin especially today like i want to look nice today no i think we'll be okay it's really really gone down so i'm really happy about that and i just remembered i have not wet a beauty blender so one minute i'm gonna have to go and do that okay i'm back so first i'm gonna go in with like a super high coverage concealer and i'm just gonna like spot conceal a little bit because i feel like i need it i'm just so happy that my spots are in a place where they can be covered up quite easily a few days ago they really really weren't they were like angry and like raised really high so yeah i think yeah even that looks like so much better thank god for that because i was really really worried about that okay so for my foundation i recently went out and bought the Awoma foundation it is quite dark for me the lighting in superdrug is awful so i did buy something to just even it out a tiny bit i feel like i had a bad omen as well this morning because I opened my phone and not one, but two of my exes had messaged me being like, I miss you, I still love you, like, how are you doing? All that kind of stuff. And then the third, okay, I have four, but one of them we don't talk about. Uh, the third had stalked my Instagram stories. So i don't know why i don't know why they're all coming out the woodwork right now they know i'm happy isn't that the way with men they know you're happy and then they go oh i'm gonna come in here um so i'm hoping that that's not a bad omen that things go well and i'm hoping that this day is not ruined i had to go out and buy a concealer that was like way too light for me because this foundation is pretty damn dark not going to lie mixed together they make a pretty good shade as you can see they cover my acne whoop de bloody do i was so so nervous about that you guys have no idea the fact that i even went to the doctors about it says how bad like i was stressing because i never go to the doctor like i literally had a stroke a few years ago and i didn't go to the doctors about it um I have now don't worry like i i spoke to, i had like a whole i don't know like a whole medical deep dive with the doctor the other day i was not expecting it because i literally just went in for my acne and um she went through everything with me <laughs> i was kind of unprepared it was like a test i was like oh my god but uh yeah i went through everything with her so i finally spoken to a doctor about my tia well done me well done me i know well done bare minimum that's me <laughs> i feel like i've been putting like way too much pressure on myself for today not for like the grade or anything because like i already know i've i've got a fantastic grade but i don't know just like the social aspect of things you know i'm not a very social person i don't feel so like i don't know just seeing everyone again and trying to mingle again like i haven't really mingled with anyone in like two months so it's it's scary for me i don't know it's like a big day and the fact that it's like it's not all about me obviously it's about like the class but the people that are with me like are like going to see me like my mum and my singing tutor and her husband like it's like it's 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 me it's like i just didn't do anything like I went to drama school and got bullied and <laughs> and now you're celebrating me like what yeah it's kind of crazy i it's it's crazy okay so i'm just popping more of this spot concealer on just because i feel like i kind of need it obviously i would have loved for my skin to not be this problematic today but you know what it wouldn't be me if something about my look didn't go well you know like at my agent showcase i lost my voice which was fun at my rent auditions i had an ear infection 
Like everything just seems to not really gel well with me. It's all part of life, innit? It's fine, it's fine. We'll get through and we'll be great. Okay, I've got my foundation on. I had an absolute nightmare, not going to lie. Um, I, it was just lifting. I don't really know why and it looks really dry on my skin but I don't have time to worry about that right now. I am stressed. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of like my light concealer just on the high points and try and blend that out. Um, that was really stressful. I hated every second of that. Do not need this kind of stress. Not today, not today. I'm hoping that a little bit of setting spray will kind of sort it out a little bit but yeah no that was not good okay i'm putting quite a lot of powder under my eyes just because i really don't want them going anywhere not that my eyes are gonna go anywhere but you know what i mean um i really want this to stick to my face it's gonna be a long ass day so yeah i don't want it crumbling or caking or like I don't know, creasing. Yeah, that was really stressful. That's put me in a very stressed out headspace. I'm not going to lie, because I really wanna like my makeup today. Big deal, it's a big day. I was actually complimented on my eyebrows the other day, which is new. I don't really get complimented on my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, I was on a dating app and this guy was like, wow, you've got really lovely eyebrows. <laughs> I like my eyebrows just because I don't really have to do much to them. I just kind of fill them in with eyeshadow and then we're kind of good to go. I did pluck them and trim them last night. So they are ready to go. They've not got much to be done to them. I am very fortunate. I know so many people have to do like a whole 10, 20 minute routine on their eyebrows. I could never. I always hate doing my brows. Like brows is the thing that I hate the most. And putting lashes on. Absolutely not, hate it. Right, so I'm just powdering with my Too Faced Born This Way. This is in my rolling project pan. So hopefully everything starts to look a little bit better now with powder. I always find that powder kind of tones down anything that isn't like working very well. Oh, I hit pan in it as well. <gasps> Bit of a spoiler there for my rolling project pan, but we've just hit pan in my powder. That means it's gonna be a good day. That means everything's gonna go fine. All the bad omens have gone because I have hit pan in my powder. Okay, let's do the cheeks. Um, I'm just using my ABH uh, Italian Summer Bronzer uh, Cheek Palette, that's it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm so stressed I've forgotten how to talk. Is that even a thing? I feel like this is kind of like adult prom, you know what I mean? Actually prom was like a few days ago. I was walking into town and uh, I just saw all these like prom girlies. I was like, oh, who knew? My prom was five years ago. Mm, that's disgusting. That's horrible thoughts. But yeah, I feel like graduation is like adult prom. You know what I've noticed as well since graduating? The like big question that everyone asks, like as soon as you've said that you've graduated, is like, oh, what's next? I'm sorry, I just hit the mic there. Um, but I hate that question. Like, I really hate that question because I feel, and this could just be me being like over dramatic or whatever, but I feel like it's just like completely downplaying your achievement, you know? Like, oh, I've graduated and straight away it's like, but what next? You know, that's how it feels for me. And like, I just want to say like, dude, <laughs> I've just spent five years trying to like get to where I am and now you're instantly saying what's next? Like chill, say congrats. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have been in a similar situation, but I don't know. If someone you know has graduated, maybe don't jump to or oh, what's next. Maybe say, oh my God, you must be so proud. Well done, you know? Because honestly, I don't know what's next. <laughs> I've been focusing on this for years and now I've done it and I, I don't know. I don't know what's next. I hit the mic again. Wow, I'm really bad at this, sorry. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't know what's next. I have no idea. Sleeping for a month, that's what's next. Not going out and finding a job instantly because I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so 
it's eyes time. Um, I think I'm going to run off camera, change my camera battery, just because it's flashing at me. And I really don't want it to cut out halfway through this. So while I kind of have a stopping point, I'm going to go and change my camera battery. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, not feeling this base, not gonna lie. Hoping that it like settles in. Once I put my setting spray on and stuff like that, I think I just went a little bit overboard. I kind of needed to. So I'm just gonna do my lower lash line. I'm gonna go really, really smoky. I really like a, a heavy lower lash line. That's something that I've learned recently. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do the same colors really, but obviously on the bottom. I'm just gonna throw my highlighter on the inner corner of this look, just to give it something in the inner corner, a little bit brighter. I know it's looking very, very bottom heavy right now, but once the lashes are on and kind of everything's put together, it won't look that bad, I don't think. I'm hoping not anyway, because I'm stressed. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm stressed? I have asked my mum to be on makeup lookout today. So hopefully if anything goes super, super wrong, I'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna take like my powder, my foundation, um, lash glue, everything with me. So hopefully it'll be fine. It's just all this prep for like an hour. Kind of nuts, kind of nuts. I was gonna do a red lip, but I thought that might be a little bit too much because obviously I'm wearing a red dress and my red nails. Sometimes I actually don't like how a red lip looks on me. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use my everyday lip. Uh, it's just the Morphe gloss that I've got in my 100% cruelty free project fan. Well, wow, talking while doing lip liner is not, <laughs> is not a vibe. I really like this gloss and I've been working on it for ages. It still has no windowing in it, which is kind of annoying, but you know what? It's fine. Now we just need lashes. I've just got Ardell Wispies. Um, I was gonna do like proper dramatic ones. I don't want to take away from the eye look too much with like super ultra dramatic lashes. So I just thought Ardell Wispies were the way to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I think I've lost my tweezers. Oh no, I don't, Ugh, where are they? There they are, I found them, don't panic. Okay, lashes are on. Whew, this has been a stressful morning. Not gonna lie, it's been a lot. So let me get my hair, oh wow, this is a look. This is, yes. So this is the hair. It's held in all right. So I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, I'm gonna get dressed. And then, uh, yeah, we're running a little bit late. So then we're gonna go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check back when I have my dress on. I won't show you the dress like now. I'll put pictures on screen uh, of how the dress looks, uh, but that's gonna be at the end. Let me get dressed and then I'll get back to you. So yeah wait there hang on one minute <laughs> okay i'm back i'm gonna keep this very short and sweet i've got my hair in my little ponytail i've got my hair done i've got my dress on i'm gonna pop pictures on screen now of like maybe the day what i look like the whole dress everything like that so you can see yeah the whole the whole thing i'm really nervous but you know what i'm i'm ready i'm ready to go i'm ready <laughs> i think i think i'm ready anyway i'm gonna keep this very very short and sweet because yeah it's time to go it's time to graduate which is insane i what what is going on but yeah this is madness wish me luck um and yeah this is where i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you did enjoy this video i know it was a little bit hectic but um all the best videos are right <laughs> tell me if you are graduating this year or what your graduation was like if you graduated before or if you're close to graduating whatever graduation story times down in the comments below i'd love to know i hope you have an absolutely incredible day and i will see you tomorrow for a new video bye wish me luck <laughs>